Hi guys! Welcome back sa Cup of Teach! And today, we're going to continue yung discussion natin sa last video. Operations and Integers Part 2 Ang target naman natin sa video na to is first to apply the rules in multiplying or dividing integers. And next, perform the fundamental operations on integers. Before we continue our discussion on operations on integers, let us first recall kung paano ba mag-add or subtract ng integers by answering this activity. Give the sum or difference of the following. The first one we have, negative 5 plus negative 8. The operation here is plus or addition and our integers are both negative meaning they have the same sign. And if we are adding the same sign, ang kailangan natin gawin, same sign, add and keep. So we have to add the numbers, 5 plus 8, we will get 13, and then keep the sign. Since they are both negative, the sign of 13 is also negative. Thus, the sum is negative 13. Next, we have negative 2 plus 4. Again, the operation is plus or addition. The first integer is negative and the second integer is positive. So, kapag different sign, we have to subtract. Pag magsusubtract, kailangan yung malaking number mo na yung mauna, 4 minus 2. The answer will be 2. After subtracting, keep the sign of the bigger number. Our bigger number here is 4. And since the uh, sign of 4 is positive, therefore, the, diff, uh, the sum of negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Next, okay, we have negative 9 plus 4 plus 1. Tatlong integers yun nandito. Kailangan natin ipag-add. So, what are we going to do? Dalawa muna yung ating uunahin. Yung first two muna, okay? Ignore muna natin si 1. Okay, yung first two muna, we have uh, negative 9 plus positive 4. So, the first number is negative, the second number is positive. So, we have to subtract pag different sign. So, 9 minus 4, the answer will be 5. And keep the sign of the bigger number. Since our bigger number is 9 and the sign of 9 is negative, therefore, ang ating 5 dito is also negative. Okay? Since we are done adding uh, negative 9 and 4. So, wag na natin yung pansinin. Okay na yan. Tapos na tayo dyan. Let us bring down plus 1. Okay. Saan galing yung negative 5? Sasagot natin sa negative 9 plus 4. So, we're just going to bring down 1. So, we will have negative 5 plus 1. Okay. Different sign ulit. So, we have to subtract. So, 5 Minus 1, the answer is positive 4, or sorry, 4. And keep the sign of the bigger number. Since our number, bigger number is 5, and the sign of 5 is negative, therefore, the sign of 4 is also negative. So, negative 9 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 4. Next, let's have subtraction naman. 6 minus 7. Kapag naman subtraction, tatandaan ang po cha, cha or copy, change, change. So, paano ulit si copy, change, change? Copy natin yung 6. Change yung minus sign, gagawin mong plus. And then, yung 7, since this is positive 7, change natin siya into negative 7. Okay, this is parenthesis. Now, 
this is positive, this is negative, and then we have to add. So, different signs subtract. So, since mas malaki yung 7, let us subtract 7 and 6. 7 minus 6, we will have 1. And then, keep the sign of the bigger number. Since ang bigger number natin dito ay 7, so the symbol for 1 is negative Yan, kaya negative 1. Therefore, the answer of 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Let's have another one. 3 minus negative 10. Again, this is subtraction, kaya tayo ay magkoko, cha-cha. Copy 3, change minus sign to plus, change negative 10 to positive 10. So, 10 plus 13, same sign, add and keep. So, positive 3 plus positive 10, the answer is positive 13. Okay, positive 13. And last one, we have negative 8 minus 4. Minus ulit. So, we have to copy, change, change. Copy negative 8. Change minus sign to plus. Change positive 4 to negative 4. Okay? This is addition. They, uh, we have two negative integers. So, same sign, add and keep. So, add 8 plus 4. We will have 12. And then, keep the sign. So, they are both negative. The sign also of 12 is negative. Therefore, the difference is Negative 12. Okay? So, kapag addition, same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, and keep the sign of the bigger number. Kapag naman subtraction, copy, change, change, then proceed to addition. Okay. Now, let's continue our discussion. Multiplication and division of integers. So, the symbol for multiplication is we have here the um, parenthesis. This symbolizes um, multiplication. Then, we have here the x, yung multiplication yun, nung kayo ay elementary. But, in this um, year, we will not be using x anymore for multiplication. And then, this one is the bullet. This is also multiplication. Ang simple naman for division is ito, this one. This is what we call, this is what we call the obelus. Okay? This division sign. Or pwede rin, pwede rin yung slash. Para siyang fraction. That is also division. So, how are we going to multiply and divide integers? So, simple lang. If the signs are the same, then the answer is positive. If the signs are different, then the answer is negative. Okay? So, paano yun? There are um, examples here. I'm going to show you. So, yan. First example. Negative 4 times. Parenthesis yan. This uh, stands for times or multiply. Negative 4 times negative 2. So, you just have to multiply the integers. So, 4 times 2 we have 8. And since they are both negative, the answer is positive. So, positive 8. Next, we have 5 times 7. So, they are both positive. So, you just have to multiply. 5 times 7 is 35. Since they have the same sign, the answer is positive. Next, 3 times negative 8. Okay, the 3 here is positive the 8 here is negative. So, therefore, they have a different sign. Therefore, the answer should be negative. 3 times 8 is 24. So, our product is negative 24. Next, negative 9 times 9. So, we have here a negative and a positive. The signs are different. So, the product is negative. Okay? So, we will have negative 81. Let's have some examples for um, division. 
8 divided by 4. So, they are both positive, parehong positive. Therefore, the quotient is also positive. Okay? So, we have positive 2. Next, negative 35 divided by negative 7. They are both negative. So, the quotient will be positive. Okay? So, we will have positive 5. Next, we have 24 divided by negative 8. Okay? So, tingnan nyo mukhang fraction. But this is um, as a symbol for division or it indicates division. So, 24 divided by negative 8. Our 24 is positive. Our 8 is negative. Therefore, the answer or the quotient should be negative also. So, we have negative 3. Then lastly, we have negative 81 divided by 9. Our 81 is negative. Our 9 is positive. Therefore, the quotient is negative 10. So, we have negative 9. Okay. Okay. So, let us try to um, answer the following. Let us try to find the product. We have negative 3 times positive 9. So, negative, tapos positive, the answer or the product should be also negative. We will have negative 27. Next, 5 times negative 10. Positive 5 times negative 10, the answer should be negative 50. Next, 6 times 13, positive 6 times positive 13. They are both positive, so the product should also be positive. Positive 78. Next, negative 5 times negative 9. They are both negative, therefore the product should be positive. The answer is positive 45. Now, let us try to find the quotient. 121 divided by 11. Okay? Parehong positive. Therefore, the answer should also be positive. We have positive 11. 78 divided by negative 3. Isang positive, isang negative. They have different sign. So, therefore, the quotient should be negative. What's the answer? Negative 26. Next, negative 56 divided by negative 7 or negative 56 over negative 7. They are both negative. The quotient should be positive and the answer is positive 8. Then lastly, we have negative 60 divided by 4. Isang negative, isang positive. So, the answer or the quotient should be negative. Okay? So, we have negative 15. Before we end this video, let us have a recap on this topic. To multiply or divide integers, look at the signs. If they have the same sign, the product or quotient is positive. If they are different, then it is negative. Okay? So, positive times positive or negative times negative is positive ang product. Positive divided by positive, negative divided by negative, the quotient is positive. Kapag naman magkaiba, positive times negative or negative times positive, the uh, product is negative. Same lang din sa um, division. Negative divided by positive, positive divided by negative, the quotient is negative. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!